Have you ever considered the possibility that humans might actually be, in a sense, beings of light? Today, we delve into the fascinating world of biophotons and human bioluminescence, a field of study that might just change our understanding of life as we know it. Biophotons or biological light are emitted by many organisms, including humans. In fact, in 2009, Japanese researchers proved that the human body, especially the face, emits biophotons 1,000 times less intense than the levels to which our naked eyes are sensitive. Moreover, biophotons have been discovered to play a crucial role in cellular communication. Traditionally, we've thought of cells as communicating through molecular interactions, but recent research suggests another layer of communication, one that relies on these quiet whispers of light. These biophotons are not just any kind of light, but a highly ordered form of light, akin to a biological laser. This light is incredibly stable, without the fluctuations typically associated with light. Because of this high degree of order, it is thought that biological laser light can maintain and generate order within an organism and even transmit information. Picture a cell not just as a bag of molecules bumping into each other randomly, as was presupposed for decades under Darwinian presuppositions, but as a bustling metropolis where molecules are sending out and receiving specific frequencies of electromagnetic waves. These waves allow molecules to see and hear each other, to influence each other from a distance. In a 2007 article titled, The Real Bioinformatics Revolution, Proteins and Nucleic Acids Singing to One Another, it is stated the conventional Darwinian picture of a cell even now is that of a bag of molecules dissolved in water and through bumping into one another by chance, random collisions, those molecules that have complementary shapes lock onto to each other so the appropriate biochemical reactions can take place. A conservative estimate of 10,000 molecular species will involve 10,000 times 10,000, which is equal to 10 to the power of eight pairwise interactions. The problem is that even if the molecules have very intricate complementary shapes, it would be well nigh impossible for the right molecules to find each other in such a crowded environment as the cell, where there will only be a few copies of each kind of molecules. Imagine trying to find a friend in a very big and very crowded ballroom in the dark. So exactly how do molecules find each other? Well, it turns out, the molecules send out specific frequencies of electromagnetic waves, which not only enable them to see and hear each other, as both photon and phonon modes exist for electromagnetic waves, but also to influence each other at a distance and become ineluctably drawn to each other, if vibrating out of phase in a complementary way, more than 1,000 proteins from over 30 functional groups have been analyzed. Remarkably, the results showed that proteins with the same biological function share a single frequency peak while there is no significant peak in common for proteins with different functions, Furthermore, the characteristic peak frequency differs for different biological functions. The same results were obtained when regulatory DNA sequences were analyzed. Moreover, in an article titled Does DNA Emit Light? It is stated, We now know today that man is essentially a being of light. There are about 100,000 chemical reactions happening in every cell each second. The chemical reaction can only happen if the molecule which is reacting is excited by a photon. And in a 2014 article titled Symphony of Life Revealed New Imaging Technique Captures Vibrations of Proteins, it is stated to observe the protein vibrations, Markels's team relied on an interesting characteristic of proteins. The fact that they vibrate at the same frequency as the light they absorb. Proteins with different structures will absorb and vibrate in response to light of different frequencies. Many scientists have previously thought a protein is more like a wet sponge than a bell. If you tap on a wet sponge, you don't get any sustained sound. So how does all this mesh with Darwinian presuppositions? Well, to say that such a massive amount of biophotonic communication at the molecular level of life is unexpected under Darwinian presuppositions is to make a rather drastic understatement. Randomly colliding molecules is, for all intents and purposes, a foundational presupposition of Darwin's theory. To find that the order of life is governed by biophotonic communication, rather than by randomly colliding molecules, is, in essence, to falsify a foundational cornerstone of Darwinian theory. In summary, 
biophotons and human bioluminescence offer an intriguing and unexpected new perspective on cellular communication. They suggest a biological world where molecules see and hear each other through biological laser light. This is the unexpected symphony of light, an unexpected symphony that we are only beginning to understand. A symphony of light at the molecular level for which Darwinists have no realistic explanation. As we continue to explore this fascinating field biophotonic communication, who knows what other surprises await us? After all, in the words of scientist Arthur C. Clarke, magic's just science that we don't understand yet. And also to paraphrase St. Augustine, miracles are not contrary to nature, but only contrary to what we currently know about nature.